Hello guys, now personally, I'm going to be honest, I have a bit of a sore throat. <coughs> so you may struggle to hear me, okay? Now, I think there's some sort of cold or something going around. Anyway, I have here something called a sandwich toaster. And I'm going to be using that to make toasted ham and cheese, okay? A, to a toasted ham and cheese sandwich, okay? Now, I'm going to switch it on at the mains. And now you'll notice there's a red light on, okay? Eventually, there will be a green light as well. And when that happens, it means it's ready to put in, okay? In the meantime, I'm going to move this slightly over here. Now, move this back a bit. Normally you shouldn't really move it when it's hot, you're going to get hot, but I have no choice, I'm trying to film it. Now, I have here a plate. I have here a slice of ham, some slices of ham. It's already been open, so... So I'm ready for my mum, so... I'm going to take a slice out and put it on the plate. For now, red. I also have here some grated cheese, which I opened and showed people earlier in a previous video. And I'm going to use that in it as well. I also have some margarine. This is a cheap brand called Just Like Butter. I also have some bread, which is I have some King Mill bread. Take my word for it, this is bread. Soft white bread. And I'm going to get out, I've got a couple of slices out of the back, okay? You can see it's bread, okay, if you look. And I've got a couple of slices out, okay? Now, On a toasted sandwich, you actually have the buttered, mar or mar you know, side on the outside, not on the inside. So it's not like a normal sandwich where the buttered sides would be on the inside. They're actually on the outside on a toasted sandwich, OK? So now, I'm going to get some butter. I'm going to put it on. And the bread, I'm going to move this back a bit. Cut some of that and put it on here. It doesn't matter if this isn't done perfectly because when it goes into the sandwich toaster, it will all um, melt anyway. There might not be enough, so I'm going to put some more in. It's actually quite cold today, so it might take a while for the sandwich toaster to actually heat up, okay? I'll put some extra butter on this one, so I've got some extra margarine, which I've put onto the knife. Okay. Now the knife will be used in a moment. So and this is why I'm actually, I'm actually cleaning the knife on the bread, and you'll see the reason for that in a moment. Okay. So now I'm going to put the lid back onto the butter. 
and now I'm waiting now for the summer shows to and you'll notice just as I did that you may have noticed the green light has just suddenly come on just as I lifted it um, the green light has come on the sandwich toaster. Now when the light goes green, it means it's ready. So I'm going to heat up a bit more. So I'm going to push it over to the right a bit. Just so that it will take a bit longer to heat up. Because I turned it down a bit, just to see. And now in a moment, just so you can get the effect of it actually seeing it come on. And because I wanted it to be... Um, a bit hotter it should there it's just come on you've just seen it so now you see where I've got to act quite quickly now okay so now I press this button here lift up the sandwich toaster now I put one of the slices in and as I said you put it buttered side down so buttered side down the opposite to what a normal sandwich would be like now I'm going to quickly put on here, um, the ham. I'm going to tear some of the ham off. So there is the ham. And now, I'm going to put it, the buttered side up. So at the moment, I'll put the ham on, a, on the side which hasn't got bread. Sorry, not bread. I mean, it hasn't got butter, sorry. I'm think, not thinking quickly, properly. Okay. And now I'm suffering from stage fright, okay, because I'm trying to do this quickly. And now you'll see the buttered side up. And this is where it gets clever. I now have a knife. And it tells you specifically to do this in the instruction manual. You have to hold the knife against both of the pieces of bread. And then while you're doing that, you then close the lid. until you've gone down then clamp it now you wait for approximately two minutes okay so at the moment I'm just gonna waste time talking for two minutes okay oh drat off I knew I'd forgot something idiot you idiot Cliff stupid idiot right not what I should have done I knew I forgot something this is the grated cheese. If something's going to go wrong, it will when you're filming. Absolutely guaranteed. But you get the idea. So, it can be salvaged. Um, I knew I'd forgot something. I'd planned for days for this, but never mind. There you go. I shouldn't have done that. I should have done all that in one go. But don't worry, it was salvageable. So, as I said, normally you would have put the cheese in with the ham and then closed it. Never mind, if something's going to go wrong, he will. Now. You get the idea of what it's going to be like, and I'm trying to put it back as best I can how it was before I closed the lid. Now, I'm put it like that again. So I shouldn't have done this, but you get the idea. It's annoying because I wanted to show people how to actually do it, and I've screwed it up. Anyway, you'll notice the light is still the green light is still on, but sometimes the um, green light will go off. So I've shown people how to deal with it if you make a mistake. And it tells you to leave it for about two or three minutes. So that's really annoying that I, it would, you know, never mind. Um, And while it's doing that, I'm going to push this slightly out of the way. 
I'm now going to move this back. You'll notice the green light's gone out, so it's heating it again. You have to switch stop this manually, so there's no timer or anything like that. You have to do it entirely manually. And the green lights come back on. The green light will go on and off, basically, if you left it. So, but I think this should hopefully be enough. So now I'm going to lift it up, and I'm, although it doesn't tell you to, I'm going to get the knife ready just in case it sticks to the top. No, it hasn't. So don't worry, it's done it. So there you go. I'm going to use the knife to very carefully lift it out. And there you go. I'm now going to close this. That's now finished. I'm now going to switch it off at the mains. So now, I now have the toasted um, ham and cheese. I'm going to... It's actually clapped it together, so you'll notice it sealed it. These were two separate slices of bread and it's sealed them and this is what is effectively the leftover bread and here are the two triangles which you'll notice are sealed and now I'm going to eat them Okay. Okay, guys, I'm now going to eat it, okay? And just to show you, inside, so you won't normally do this, you've got the ham and the melted cheese. The cheese is melted on top of the ham. I know it's hard to show, but... And you can actually buy um, ham and cheese pasties here, okay? The difference is the pasties are made of pastry and this is made of bread, okay? outside I have truthfully done this before so I'm going to have to eat this quickly because truthfully it's quite cold and it's very late at night. Sandwich toasters can be useful for people who don't know how to cook but just want something hot. As I said, the only thing you have to remember with a sandwich toaster is that you butter the outside of the bread, not the inside. That's the difference. 
And for the normal sandwich, you would put the butter inside on the inside of the sandwich. You can have them on the outside for a toasted sandwich, using a sandwich toaster, okay? It's quite juicy. Um, I know I sound awful, but I've got to, you know, I'm struggling to talk truthfully. I think I've got a bad cold or something very similar. Coughs and colds are just a fact of life in Britain at this time of year. You just have to grin and bear it, to be honest. Some people have special medicines, like they use Lemsip. <coughs> but generally, I just grin and bear it, truthfully. Cough and cold always disappear after a few days. It's nearly finished now, so I've nearly finished eating now, so. Pretty much it now, so some of the corners can be a bit soft, okay? This is just so basically leftovers, okay? With every bit. So There you go, guys. Ham and cheese toasted sandwich. Thanks for watching. Bye.